This show contains chocolate and dogs. As we all know, dogs cannot actually eat chocolate. And although I make it seem like on the show, I'm eating chocolate, and my BFF Dexter is eating chocolate, we are in fact not eating chocolate. Just like I play a chef on TV, but I'm not actually one. So please, do not do this at home. So for today's show, we are going to be making two different kinds of truffles. We're going to be making milk chocolate truffles and dark chocolate truffles. For the milk chocolate truffles, we're going to make salted caramel milk chocolate truffles. And it's very easy. For the dark chocolate truffles, we're going to make a spicy dark chocolate truffle. We're going to use some orange peel, some red pepper flake, some ground cinnamon, heavy cream, and dark chocolate. For the milk chocolate truffles, we're going to use some vanilla, some cream, some milk chocolate, and some salted caramels for the center. Those are still coming up. So we're gonna do this two different ways. Both times we're starting with melted chocolate. But for the salted caramel truffles, we're gonna microwave the cream for one to two minutes until basically it's hot. For the dark chocolate truffles, we're gonna steep the cream. That means that we're gonna let the cream and all these ingredients stay warm together for approximately 30 minutes so the cream picks up all those flavors. So in a small pot, I'm going to put the cream. And this is heavy whipping cream. The cinnamon. The red pepper flake. And the peel of the orange. Three nice big pieces. Now we're going to put this on the stove on low, low, for 30 minutes. If it starts to get too hot and boil up, just turn it off. So it took about a minute and a half to get the cream boiling in the microwave. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour the hot cream over the melted chocolate and we're gonna stir it until it's combined. We're also gonna add about a teaspoon of vanilla. Just be careful, you don't want it to splash. Hands. Don't make a mess. I know how anxious you get. You try to do this too fast. So eventually you get a really glossy, shiny, smooth sauce. That's what you want. So once you have your truffle mixture all mixed, we're gonna put this in the refrigerator for about two hours or until it's firm. So now, my cream mixture has steeped for about 30 minutes. So the cream's gonna taste delicious. So I'm gonna take this steeped cream and I'm just gonna pour it right into my melted chocolate, but I'm gonna strain it because I don't really want all of those red pepper flakes and orange peels in there. I just want it to taste like there's red pepper and orange flakes in there. Not actually crunch down on a red pepper flake. Hands, I hope you strained that right. So the same thing here, we're just gonna stir this until it comes together to a smooth, shiny sauce consistency. So you see, once the cream and the chocolate are all combined, you get this nice, smooth, glossy sauce. This one's kinda thicker, the dark chocolate one's always kinda thicker. So again, this is gonna go in the refrigerator for two hours or until it's firm. So it's been a couple hours, and here are the dark chocolate truffles. Nice and firm, but I can still work with them. So Hans is gonna put gloves on because A, she's super messy, and B, her hands are hotter than anything. She's always melting the chocolate. So we've got a tray with parchment, and we've got this handy little scooper, and we're also gonna need some cocoa powder. I've got this nice dark cocoa powder that I'm gonna use to coat the truffles with. So all I'm gonna do is scoop the truffles. And put them on the sheet tray. This 
helps you if you have hot hands so you're not hitting in the chocolate too much. And you can see with the scooper it goes very fast. You're not looking for perfection here, you're just looking for the right amount. So once you have them scooped out, you're gonna take your little round ball and you're gonna drop it in the cocoa powder just to coat it. Then you're gonna quickly roll them in your hand. See? Beautiful. The idea is, is that they look like real truffles, the mushroom kind. If they're still too soft when you go to scoop them, you can put the balls back in the refrigerator for another 30 minutes and they'll firm up. Isn't that easy? Even hands can do it. Wow, hands, those are great. I like to give hands a hard time, but that's just how we roll. We're actually very good friends. You should check out my Instagram page. There's plenty of pictures of us. Do you see how easy this is? They don't have to be perfect balls. It's better if they're not. You want them to look a little uneven, just like a natural truffle. These ones are the dark chocolate ones, and they are delicious. They have a hint of orange when you first put them in your mouth, and then they're spicy when you're finished. Like a little warm burn on your palate. There! Aren't those pretty? Hands, take your gloves off over the sink. So, how do we store these? You want to store these in an airtight container in the refrigerator, but they need to warm up for about 30 minutes before you serve them. You can not keep them at room temperature for a few days, but only for a few days. You can keep them in the refrigerator for about a week, or you can keep them in the freezer for a couple months. So for the milk chocolate truffles, the salted caramel truffles, what we're gonna do is take some of these salted caramels. Already made, I got them at Trader Joe's. And then wrap them. They're very soft, so I don't recommend unwrapping them unless you can put them on a tray like this. If you put them in a big bowl, they're just gonna stick together. So I take a knife and I'm gonna cut it into four pieces. And I'm just gonna make a little ball like that. Then I'm gonna take the truffle and I'm gonna put it in the center and wrap the truffle around it. Like that. Salted caramel truffle. Pretty cool, huh? So again, caramel in the center, truffle goes around it. Give it a quick little roll and into the cocoa powder. If your truffles are nice and cold, it goes pretty quickly. So you might wanna scoop the milk chocolate ones and then put them back in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes before you do this. Now, just like before, we're gonna coat them in a little cocoa powder and voila, little salted caramel truffles. Now you can coat truffles in a bunch of different things. You can use coconut, you can use chopped nuts, finely chopped nuts. Pistachios, pecans, peanuts, whatever you want. I like to use cocoa powder because I think it makes them look like real mushrooms. So, here are my Valentine's Day tuna truffles. Salted caramel and spicy. I made them for my BFF Dexter for Valentine's Day because I love him. Thank you for watching and you can follow me on Twitter, 
Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and Pinterest at The Real Chef Tuna. Subscribe if you like Chef Tuna and join us next week.